YouTubers. I'm here to show you how to do cush court on a budget. Okay, so I've just dinged a fairly expensive rear rim on my hardtail and had to get it replaced. And so I did a little bit of search on the internet and there are some videos out there from the, the States um, and Canada about doing ghetto cush court. But I thought I'd do one for the UK. Okay, so here you can see cush core. And all this is, is two pieces of pipe lagging. Okay, so go down to the, I got mine from B&Q. Go down to B&Q and I bought that size. Can you see that? Is it focusing? Yeah. And all you do is, there's a guide there for splitting it to put over a pipe. Use that as a guide. Take a bread knife, it's pretty good, and use that score mark as a guide to cut down as careful as you can. This was a bit of a bad effort, so I've not used this one. Okay, and then once you've got your two halves, you take your rim, offer them up to each other, and you just want to look to see how they'll interact. It'll be different for different different diameter wheels but you can see if I was to do those square edges together there'd be a little bit of a gap so what you want to do is just chamfer those edges if you have a look there don't do it on your rim obviously this is an old rim of mine just chamfer a little wedge off there yeah and then if you do the same on the joining piece just chamfer a little bit off less than you think really because my old rim so I'm rushing this a bit for the video so it doesn't take too long. Okay, and then they will mate up really nicely. Nice and flush there. No gaps at all. Okay. Okay, and then you you'll pull it all the way around and measure it and do the other side accordingly. And what you've got then is the two halves. Okay, so you've got two joints. Now I've experimented in the past with joining them using a zip tie just like that but you don't get a very tight fit around the rim and if you're running low pressures it will move and slide and it will pop and break okay so I found that to be unsatisfactory so what I came up with the idea is is like a steel band instead or only instead of steel using zip ties so by the longest zip ties you can in this case I got 370 mil, uh, 50 pack, cost me three pounds. Um, oh yeah, by the way, the, the insulation costs two pounds for a meter length. And a meter length will, if you cut it in half nicely, that will do one rim, 29 or all 650B. And then, so you'll need six zip ties for a 650B. And just click them on a few times and then wrap them around the inner channel, as you can see. And then just tighten them up go around with a set of pliers just giving them a little tighten see how tight you can get it, I've already tightened these ones up which give them a bit, a bit of a pull Let's see if get them a bit tighter try and do them fairly evenly so you get an even tension all the way around there we go and what you see now is because I've spoken to people in the industry and they've said oh Kushko Kushko um, but yes, it may well be higher density and give you more protection, but it costs £150 in the UK. This is softer, yes, um, but it will protect your rim nevertheless. Um, and and, and another, another guy said, oh, but it moves around on the rim, it slides around. Well, if you use this method, it doesn't move around on the rim, okay? Stay still, okay? So all you'd need to do now, find your valve hole, just in here and I would um, try and line up the join if you can and then you just pop a hole through just to let the air because that is nice now we've used this band method of joining it and cinching it down it is quite a tight seal I would have thought the air will still get in there but uh, you might want to pop a hole through just to make sure now I've tried this before on bigger pipe lagging and it's been a bit of a wrestle with anything smaller than a 2.3 tyre and anything smaller than a 30mm internal rim 
but this time I'm using a smaller a pipe a lagging for a smaller uh, for a smaller sized pipe the 15 mil center hole and it is slightly smaller overall circumference than this one if you look here just smaller so this will make fitting it easier to smaller tires and smaller rims okay but I'm pretty confident I'll have absolutely no problem getting a 2.35 or a 2.5 wide trail on that. These are Halo Vortex um, rims, 33 mil internal. Awesome rims, awesome rims. I just, just trying to cheat and run too low a pressure uh, and got caught out without the protection. But now I've got the protection, no worries. And you can see there, there's good coverage. Good coverage on the sides. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's lower density than a Cush Core. But um, the pipe lagging costs two pounds, the zip ties cost three pounds, and the bag of zip ties will do ten wheels approximately. So, you know, even if you do have a heavy summer and they get a bash around, then it's not going to cost you much just to put another one in. Um, yeah. Another question people ask is like, oh, doesn't it soak up sealant? Does it soak up all the sealant? It doesn't. So the small holes where you've cut here, some sealant will go in there, but this is closed cell foam, so it doesn't soak up, okay? Um, you might want to use a little bit more, but then again, you might not, because there's actually a smaller cavity for you to fill now, okay? So the Cush Core principle is a really good idea. You know, you've got this lo low down damping over the rim and then a tunable air pocket around the tyre. Great idea, brilliant idea. It's just a bit bit rich for my blood, really, being a northerner. So that's how to do Ghetto Kushkor from B&Q for a fiver. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up like. Um, and if you can't be bothered to make one, give me a message and I'll, uh, I'll knock one up for you and uh, send it out. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video.